Okay, so it's a Morton Joe 245, and today we'll take a look at the Snow Serpent. Okay, so this is the Snow Serpent, the Cobra Polar Assault Trooper. He was first available in 1985, he was also available in 1986, and he was discontinued in 1987, which he didn't have a direct replacement. But, uh, now, his counterparts on the G.I. Joe side, that was already two at the time he was released. There was Snow Job in 1983, which I've already done a review on. Unfortunately, I didn't have Snow Serpent when I done the review. And in 1985, the same year as the Snow Serpent, we got Frostbite, which came with the uh, uh, Snow Cat vehicle. About said Polar Battle Bears, the wrong one. And then in 1986, we got Iceberg. There was a second version of the uh, Snow Serpent in uh, 1992, I believe. Now, the Snow Serpent and the Ice Viper are two different figures. The Ice Viper came on uh, way down the line with a with a vehicle, which I can't remember the name off the top of my head. But in the uh, the uh, Ice Viper also had a figure in the Rise of Cobra line, which I'd done a review on. And starting off with the first accessory, we have this. Uh, well, it's, it's obviously a AK-47, which you know stands for Automatic Kalashnikov 1947. And um, at first, I thought this may have been a variant without the stock, but come to find out, the stock is actually just broken off on this one. So um, this would have like a like a folding stock. It was, it was actually kind of cool, but unfortunately, mine is it's broke. So you can see it has the you know AK style magazine, the four grip, which um, on a real AK that would be a a gas tube right here above the barrel, and the barrel will be a little bit lower. But you know, I and mean, it's actually a pretty decent uh, representation of the uh, AK-47. The AK-47 was also given to the Cobra officer, which I uh, was this figure when I got it. I actually had an accessory pack version of, of that uh, accessory. Here's a comparison. This right, this white AK right here, is the uh, accessory pack accessory. This is the one that came with Snow Serpent, and as you can see, they're a little bit different. This was an accessory pack version of the rifle that came with the Cobra Officer, and uh, the only difference is the Cobra Officer's one it was black, and this one's white. But this figure came with with uh, this accessory when I got it, which is you know the wrong accessory. But luckily, I had the right one. Just the stock's broke, unfortunately, like I said. But I do have a blue accessory pack version of this too, with the stock broken off. But it's it's way down at the bottom of my parts. I didn't uh want to dump it all out just to find that one little piece. But so this actually looks cool with the snow serpent because it's kind of like an off-white color, so it kind of looks like a Arctic version of the AK-47. And the next accessory is the snow serpent's backpack, which uh, this is actually a pretty cool backpack. It's got like a uh, like a bed roll looks like up here at the top. You know, some buckles, you know, flaps and stuff, and some rolls, and pouches, which you know, which I have the Two or three extra backpacks for this, and uh, when I was younger, I used to put these backpacks on a lot of the Arctic figures because you know this is a pretty cool backpack. You know, like you know, you would be wearing in an Arctic environment. There was a peg, so it peg the figures back. There's also a side peg right here, which I'll explain what goes on that in here in just a minute. But uh, a pretty well done accessory. It also comes with a mortar, which uh, which I have an extra one of these stands too in my uh, thing for parts, and um, See, there's a, a hole right here, which is for the backpack for to peg the water onto, as you can see, where you can store it, which is actually pretty cool. You know, it kind of gets it up out of the way when it's not in use. But take that back off, and um, it's the bipod can be folded out where it can be, you know, put on the ground like so. So there's the uh, mortar and the bipod extended out, which looks pretty cool when you can have the figure like kneel down beside it. It's a cool way to display this piece. He also comes with two snowshoes, and um, which I have a uh, few extra sets of these too. And uh, these were also cool to use with you know the Arctic figures because you know in an Arctic environment you're gonna need snowshoes, otherwise you're gonna tie yourself out trying to walk through your know, big thick you know things of snow. So uh, you know a snowshoe displaces your weight and makes it easier to walk on on snow and stuff because snow gets pretty deep in some areas. I mean I don't know that where I live we rarely ever get snow, but yeah, you know, they're pretty cool. They're white, which is a good color for these, or kind of an off-gray, maybe. But still, it's a pretty good color for, you know, an Arctic accessory like this. Just drop one. And you can see there's like a cross-stitching, 
like pattern in here, like would what, what would be on an actual snowshoe, and uh, there's pegs for the figure's feet to go on to. And last but not least, we have a parachute pack, which uh, when this is wrapped around the figure's waist, it looks like he's wearing a big fanny pack. But uh, without, this is supposed to be like a parachute pack where you can there's a handle you pull this out, and you know the thing would erupt, and you know you could go down. But, you know, it's just a hollow piece on the inside. Mine's a little bit dirty. It needs to be cleaned out. But, uh, pretty, pretty cool, you know. A lot of times, sometimes you'll find these with the straps snapped off and broken. But, you know, these aren't too hard to come by. So, let's take a look at Snow Serpent's articulation. He had the standard articulation for G.I. Joe figures in 1985. He had a ball joint at the head, which was a new point of articulation added in 1985. Because old figures before had just had a swivel at the neck joint. He also had a, uh, you know, hand and swivel at his shoulder, a swivel arm at the elbow. The figure was held together by a rubber O-ring, which looped around the inside, to give you a pretty good range of motion. This one's a little bit loose, because I think it, the O-ring may be uh, kind of old, but he's got a ball joint at the hip and a bend at the knee. And uh, thinking about, you know, the, new, the innovations with the head articulation here before I go on, there was no new... Innovations of articulation added after 85. The ball joint was the last new piece of articulation added for G.I. Joe figures. They never did do anything else, which is kind of a shame. So let's go over the sculpt, design, and color of the Snow Serpent, starting with his head. And uh, as you can see, he's got like a black mask and a white helmet on with blue goggles, which, you know, is pretty cool looking in these colors. And uh, see, the goggles would be cool if they were could go down over the eyes, but unfortunately it's just a sculpted piece that'd been kind of hard to do. And then he's also looks like he's got some earbuds for his goggles go down. Now the head of the snow serpent was reused to create the Heli Viper, which is one of the ugliest action figures I have ever seen. But sadly not the ugliest. But going down he's got like a fur collar around his uh goes all the way around his shoulders, which looks pretty cool, you know, for an Arctic environment that looks actually cool. That helped keep you warm. It's, you know, going down, he's got some blue straps, probably for, like, the uh, parachute pack, because, you know, parachute goes all the way down to your, like, your crotch area and stuff with the straps. But under the straps, he's got, like, a big bulky jacket on to keep him warm. On his uh, right arm, there's, like, a pouch here, and uh, some details and wrinkles of his jacket. On the other side, there's no pouch, but there is a cobra emblem, which looks pretty cool. Going down to his lower arms, his lower arms don't have very good detail. They kind of look like uh, he's got uh, bare arms, but they just painted them to match the jacket and put the fur uh, arm pieces over the arms. Which I wish they could have detailed the arms to look like the jacket. That would have looked pretty cool, but unfortunately they didn't. He get his arms out of the way. Going down to his waist piece, he has uh, a unique waist piece. I don't think this waist piece was ever used again. I could be wrong, but you can see the straps for the, the harness go all the way down to his and his rear end, which splits his rear end, actually. That's what says made in Hong Kong on his rear end here. Going down to his legs, he's got two big pouches on the, on the front of his uh, legs here, which uh, I'm not sure what would be in there. But there's also there's a seam for his pants on each side of his leg. There's a seam on each part. It says uh, 1985 Hasbro on, on his leg there. Going down to his, his shins, you know, there's thick, you know, pants for his... Uh, uh, you know, to keep him warm. And he also got some big blue heavy duty boots with some pretty good detail in them. You know, you need some pretty, you know, thick insulated boots for, you know, a snowy environment. Otherwise, you can get frostbite on and, and possibly lose toes. Let's take a look at the Snow Serpent's final card, which the final card was, you know, printed on the back of the card in which the figure was packaged. And, um, uh, Cobra Polar Assault, code name Snow Serpent, file name classified. Which, you know, final name, you know, would be numerous anyway, because, you know, these are like army builders. It's not basically one individual person. You know, there would be an army of snow serpents. Primary military specialty, Arctic operations. Secondary military specialty, infantry. But, you know, the snow serpent would be like Arctic infantry. First place would be various countries. You know, also talking about how, you know, these are multiple soldiers, not just one person. And there's also no serial number, probably, you know, for that reason. Snow serpents are the Arctic specialty branch of the eels, which the eels is referring to the cobra eels, which, you know, the snow serpent is the, uh, you know, 
the elite uh, specialist branch of the eels. So the the, uh, the eels, uh, you know, are elite, but the snow serpent is even more elite. It's the elite of the elite. <laughs> Move these back out of the way here. You know, the cobra frogman, which you know is what I just talked about. They must undergo the same rigorous training program as the eels, with addition of a six-month cold weather course somewhere above the Arctic Circle. Other aspects of their training include airborne operations, which you know explains why it's got the um, parachute fanny pack <laughs> under Arctic conditions, anti-tank procedures, and use of snowshoes, skis, and kayaks. If the eels are the elite cobra naval branch, then the snow serpents are the best of the best, which is why well, I just explained a minute ago. How else could you characterize an individual who would parachute onto an ice flow in sub-zero temperatures and be prepared to march 50 miles with full field pack assault rifle and anti-tank weapon? So anti-tank weapon is talking about the border that the, that the figure comes with. And you can see over here there's a portrait of the the serpent, which is the same portrait on the, the card art. It also has this faction as Cobra, which is correct. Okay, going over the media appearances for the Snow Serpent. The Snow Serpent was used in the G.I. Yeah, Joe comic books as well as the uh, uh, Sunbow Animated Series. With the Sunbow Animated Series, they were shown to use the blue shirt Cobra soldiers more often than they did the Snow Serpents, even sometimes in Arctic environments, I believe. So, what do I think of the Snow Serpent overall? Yeah, I say this is a top tier figure, and uh, actually one of my favorites and I'm glad I have it now because I've always wanted the Snow Serpent since I have three other of the uh, you know G.I. Joe uh, Arctic Specialists and um, now there's uh, unfortunately me on my uh, AK has got the stock broken off but um, maybe I can find one with the, the stock contact to put in place of it and um, and this is actually like I said a really Good action figure, and I highly recommend it if you can find one that is uh, complete. They're also very good army builders. So, uh, if you like this, uh, I, before I uh, end the video, there I do have the six inch classified snow serpent, so I'll do a review on it as well. So, um, so if you like this video and want to see more like it, give me a thumbs up, that helps me a lot, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Till next time.